friends, we're back with the second part of this video, and that is approaching these now from a Alliance Sealed perspective. So the last one was if you open two decks and which one would you choose as just a sealed choice. Now we're going from the perspective of is this Alliance. So right off the top, I know the token I would like more is Warrior. So that means Brobnar is in play. So let's start off by removing the Brobnar. So here we are. First deck, we're taking the Brobnar because this has some good readying, some good direct damage. We got some interesting things here. Splash attacks. We got a nice little Bracken flavor going on. Um, lots of splash attack, which is cool. And the Grand Gourd. So Broken Axe. Nibor Flamewing. I'm really liking this one, actually. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I, I really actually like Nibor Flamewing. And then we got Bilgum Avalanche. Okay, so... Basically, what I'm seeing here is we're getting a lot of, well, how many creatures we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures in here. And what I'm noticing right off the top is there's ways to fight right away. There's damage with splash. There's more splash. And then there's this splash. So it's just splash for days. So I'm kind of liking that. And then what I'm instantly going to make me want to grab on this side I think this was an obvious way things are going is actually the unfathomable just for the disruption that it has. Um, it has make tokens, has some good ember control. Um, but this one actually, the, the Fizzaloha, because of the fact that damage creatures do not ready and with the amount of splasher, I feel like those two aspects go really nicely together. So this is the next part, kind of an easy choice. Now, what do we want to do next? So we can look at the two Mars. Because that's really the question in hand here. So there's going to be, um, do I want the Mars? That's what it comes down to. So this first deck, we got the Mesmerist. We got two scoop ups. We got the Tall Minded, which is doing key cost increase. We got lots of board wipe here. The Vatminder makes a token creature. Okay. We got the Rebel, so Mars Neighbors ready. We got Ammonia Clouds. We got Memrox the Red, so it's a gain one for each card in your archives. And there's ways to put a bunch of stuff in your archives. And we got Total Roll, so, there, so Total Recall, which I think is a really nice combo with token making, as well as the fact that it creates um, a really nice aspect of getting your token cards. So your opponent's card cannot leave your archives. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually really liking this. The triple kaboom is excessive. So, okay, so there's that one. Part one, but the total recall is really speaking to me. Now, if we go this side, we do have a lot of creatures. Um, the cool drop ups, we still have the kaboom. We have a token generator. Still have two scoop ups. We have the harvester and then we have the mesmerist. So in comparison, you basically are just saying, Okay, so you can make tokens right away. I mean, you're putting a lot of bodies on the board. So if that's important, there's that. Either, you, know, you know what? I still am going towards this one. I think because of what I'm going to want to do in the house I'm going to want to be in, I think the way this brings in the non-creature cards is actually what gets me more excited. So that would be the Mars in contention. Do I even entertain Star Alliance? The truth is no, it doesn't actually have what I'm looking for. So we're just grabbing the Unfathomable. Now, just for posterity's sake, should Sanctum be considered? I know everyone just screamed no, but the Double Revered Monk works against it. The Mount, so this is the thing that I'm considering is there is seems to be burst potential in sanctum so we got one two three four five and these two things the absolve so there's five ember pips in here 
Grand Mealy and the membership drive. Yeah, no, I'm I'm liking this. This is what we're going with. This is the deck. Right here. Token creatures that we can make. There is one. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So we got seven cards that can make tokens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen creatures. We're a little light on the creatures, but I'm hoping that's going to be switched with the token creating. But on the same side, the Mars is providing a lot of ways to deal with the board, so it's not a huge problem. Now for Ember Control, we got one. two or technically three if we count each capture pip four five six seven seven so we got seven cards amber control the, the plays i'm really liking here is a total recall and Memrox play because of the fact that we have the Kaboom, which allows me to put the Mars I do have, and then the Scoop Ups. So between those two, I think it's really going to be some great bursts, and then we just got the stuff to to get the board going in Brobnar and basically disrupt like crazy because of all the hand stuff, and then on top of that, we then have... Fizzaloha, who is going to pretty much make it so that your opponent's cards don't ready for the most part with all the splash. So I'm kind of liking the way this comes together. So this would be the Alliance deck. It would be, oh, what is this? We'll call it Pride Brow, a Weird Spears Monument, because we're just taking one house from here. And then we take the two names from here for the other two. So that's the deck. Hope you liked it. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good about um, this as a an alliance sealed deck I think it could do some really fun things and as general first two woe decks I'm pretty stoked thanks again Sydney uh, I think this is a pretty fun one to start off my journey into the world of winds of exchange so um, thanks everyone for tuning in I'd love to know if you would have gone differently for your alliance sealed um, because I think this is pretty interesting and uh, a lot of fun so I'm excited to do more alliance sealed videos maybe a next one i do will be a mass mutations one so we can see how that looks so um thanks everyone for tuning in and as always may your ember never be stolen and your keys forged promptly folks have a good one